Hey right guys, Trish from Watches Joey and today we are watching and reacting to episode 6 of Sex Education Season 3. Just watched the last episode, I've had like a 5 minute break and I'm just, I thought I'd just jump into episode 6 before I edit uh, the last episode because I just want to kind of get, you know, I want to make sure I definitely finish the season today because I'm going to start running the risk of seeing spoilers of course on how it ends but yeah, episode 5 was good, I'd, again I think episode 3 is still my favourite episode but if you want to hear more thoughts on that then you have the last reaction which should be up. So, episode 6 guys, uh, I reckon we'll get more of Oates and Maeve this episode, probably Isaac will come back into a bit, then focus on Eric a bit while he's in Nigeria. So, some good storylines set up, we'll see what happens. So, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like, if you're new, remember to subscribe, and of course if you want the uncut reactions to sex education, then link to the Patreon page will be in the description, and one of the comments down below, by the time this episode's on YouTube, Patreon would have should have all episodes up by now so you can check that out down below and my twitter and instagram will be down below as well make sure to follow me on there because i'm going to do a poll after the finale kind of seeing if people prefer otis and ruby or otis and Maeve, just to kind of get an idea because i'm not sure what most people in the comments are saying otis and ruby which makes me happy that makes me happy <laughs> we'll see we'll see we have three episodes left so yeah let's do this lily wrote another story looks like lily's mom literally looks like she's related to her yes yeah, she asked for everything I'm sorry, are we in the olden days? Why is it like the olden days? How old is Lily? Uh. Oh, gifted and talented. You go into America. I just got into the gifted and talented program. I can't believe it. I can. And then she said I was being unfair to Steve because I'm too much of a people pleaser to break up with him. No, she was really mean. tall, but she looks tiny. And why I smiled at that gross stupid man on the bus and made him think he could rub his stupid dick on me what that man did to you on the bus has nothing to do with your smile or your personality and is only about him oh it is absolutely not your fault <laughs> the amount of eric dancing scenes we've had i'm not complaining i think we need more of them in season four cow we can talk about whatever you like once you come to school wearing the correct uniform. Oh my, shut up about the uniform. To show them that this place has changed. If we don't get the next round of money, we are screwed. Do you understand? Uh, it's all about money. Okay, so I got onto the GTIP. Oh, welcome. Um, so I was wondering if you'd managed to get that funding that we talked about. Uh um, I unfortunately think oh, are a bit tight. And, no way. And so... She needs to go. She needs to go. That's crap. We've got. Oh, what? Oh. It doesn't feel right, Amy and Maeve not being friends. It's like something's broken in the world. I like Isaac. God. Oops. <laughs> Did I butcher those words? What, we should just forget about her? I think so. I don't know. I don't know if that's healthy. But our school once again made the news today. Take me now, Lord Vanon. <laughs> <laughs> Lily Eigelhart, Cal Bowman, and Adam Groff. What? Come to the stage, please. What did Adam do? Punishment will be dealt with differently. Beheadings. Beheadings. We read that out, please, Cal. I am a slovenly troublemaker who doesn't care about my peers. This is fucked up. Sit this down, is Jackson. ridiculous. Put the sign on, Cal. What? What is this? <coughs> what are these medieval times? I don't think my story was dirty. Then why is everyone laughing at you? Mm. Does anyone miss Groff? It's supposed to be school, not somewhere we should be afraid. Okay, you're suspended. What? What the fuck's going on? No one is to speak to these students. What? And you will not be allowed to remove your sign until I say so. What is this? What school is this? I said, slow, slow down. I said, slow down. What? Your mum took Elsie for a walk at a visitation. Oh, and she's going to, yeah, walk. What? Thank you for dropping Mae off. going to come and help too. Oh, we're doing this. Okay. She seemed okay. For fuck's sake. This is like old Otis. I'm Mae's friend. He is her complicated love interest. He used to be her friend and... Oh, we're doing this now. Now. What are you even doing? Shut up! The pair of you. 
actually I sounded like Hermione then. An for you to swing your dicks around. I don't know how you can even think of choosing this guy over me. Choose oh, what? Ah! Choosing. You're so deluded. All right, something happened between you guys in the trip then. Why we're doing this now? Yeah. yeah, I don't know what it means. It's Elsie's missing. That's all I care about right now. Yeah. Understandable. Him, I think you should go. I don't want to see you anymore. Yeah, that's fair. He's pissed me off here. I'm not gonna lie. Would you like to come in for a chat? I keep reading the things Maureen said about me to you. And I think they're all true. Groff! Will you be coming to the student forum? Why would I want to come and listen to a bunch of teenagers whinging on about their insignificant problems for an hour? Mmm, insignificant problems? Just shut up! Oh! Vivian! Vi oh, let's go! And your father? Dad, well, he, he was just different from my mum. Mm. <laughs> crying, Dad. Abused crying? by his dad. Stop it. You're a boy. Boys, don't cry. Mm. Always comes back to the fucking parents. Every time. What do you do that makes you feel joy? I don't think I feel that emotion. Jesus. Is to find something that makes you happy. Mexican food. He was buzzing when he ate that. He was joyful when he was eating Mexican food. I can't believe you had the audacity to tell me to stop giving out advice because I was being unethical. You are the most unethical woman in the world. Right, yeah, that's... That's Jean. The most unethical person in the world. Moody Otis, everyone's favourite type of Otis. Oh, did she send it to everyone? Because I know I'll never have this for myself. Do you know what I mean? Eric out. I, uh, I'm trying to write a poem for Eric, and <laughs> I thought you could help me. Oh, that's well cute. I'm writing it because Eric likes it. <laughs> I love what that. you? What do you like? Dogs. I like dogs. I have three of them in this room right now. Oh, is he gonna make Mexican food? I think that's what's about to happen. Let's yeah. go! Let's go grow! I think it's just cooking, he likes cooking. Take me to my people then. Okay, as long as we ain't about to get a scene with Eric Cheen on Adam, I don't, no one needs that. You do you trust this guy though. What if it's like human trafficking or something? I don't know. I'll be right back. What? No, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. So I, I just don't know you that well and I yeah really now we'll figure that out okay i think we're good i think we're good i got a little bit worried there for a second i was like we don't know this guy like, oh, <laughs> so, no yo he's getting like the let's chill let's not though please don't why we didn't with some random character we're never gonna see again. That's crap. That's pissed me off. Why did why did they need to do that? Why did they? F okay. 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 There we go, guys. That is episode six of Sex Education season three. Uh, this was a good episode. I won't say it was great. I won't actually say it was the weakest of the season so far and it probably will be the weeks of the season overall because i just don't see the last two kind of being uh like for me this was like a seven or something i'll get the actual rating in a second it's like seven point something i think whereas it was all been eights or like eights and above so yeah it, we'll start off with what i think was the main plot here was eric him being in nigeria and adam being in england but i think the story there was good i'm just a little bit pissed off that they had him kiss this guy it's like I get it, you know, he's with someone who he can be himself with in Nigeria. It's like, I get him being with his people, as he said. But did we need him to... It's just like, why? I, felt, I don't know if they've done that to just have, like, him talk about it with Adam when he goes home. And, like, I felt like... I thought Adam and Eric were fine. Like, I don't, I don't get why we needed someone... 
I think, I think like all the characters have cheated on someone in this show. It's been like constant. Like Maeve's cheated on Isaac, and now Eric's cheated on Adam. Constant people just like hooking up with someone else. It's like why? We don't need that. Can we not just have like a relationship that works well. <laughs> You don't need. I get having problems because it's you know it's a it's a teen drama. We need we need to have problems with these characters for sure. But did we? We've had problems with Eric and Adam throughout this entire season. Do we need a cheating storyline added on top of that? No, we don't. So I think we could have done without that. But we'll see what happens. I mean, I, mean, I, I just see it's like he's gonna bring it up and then they're, they're either gonna break. They they were, I don't think they'll break up over it, but I think they'll just like fall out about it for a bit. It's like cool, sure, we'll, we'll go with that storyline, I guess. But other than that, Eric's storyline was decent in Nigeria. I won't say it was amazing, but I think it was like a good, you know, story to have for Eric to, uh, to be in Nigeria and have that. That was good. Then we had Otis being the most annoying he's been this entire season. It's kind of like how he was in the season. You know, it's like worst traits. They came out in this episode, which was him kind of trying to, you know, puff out his chest and be like, I'm Otis, who are you, Isaac? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be with Maeve. It's like, oh, just shut up. But, like, they are the worst parts of his character, and he did it throughout this entire episode. And then doing the whole marding Jean again, because she's overstepping her boundaries, and, oh, you're such an unethical... What did he say? She's the most unethical woman in the entire world. Yeah, Jean is the most unethical person in the entire world. You are correct, Otis. Well done. I know he's saying it because he's being petty, but my God. So yeah, I wasn't really... I didn't enjoy that. And it's like scenes like that that just put me off Otis and Maeve as an idea. It's like... And no, I don't want that because... Again, we didn't get any Ruby this episode, which is annoying. But look at how... You know when he was like bowling with Ruby and when he's like opening up to Ruby and she's opening up to him like there's scenes where they like they work so well together and all we have with him and Maeve is scenes like this where he's being annoying he's being a knobhead and she's just getting pissed off at him it's like they're not giving as much for us to be like oh yeah they're gonna work so well together if they end up together no <laughs> they're not it's just like ugh I'd say the best part of this episode was actually Groff I think Michael M Michael Groff his kind of therapy session with Jean I thought was very good and her telling him to find something that gives him joy which was cooking and then seeing a bit of his past with uh, the the dad basically bullying him and obviously Jason Isaacs the older brother being involved in that as well so he's just kind of taught him to shut off his emotions and as I said it always comes back to the parents and how they kind of treated their, their kids and you can see again what you saw what Adam was the way he was and you see why he is the way he is. It's always come back to, I'm sure the guy who was bullying Groff, his dad was probably a dickhead as well. Like, oh, men don't cry and all this shit. So it's like he's just shot off all his emotions. But he seems to be getting there. And it's, you know, I, I, I don't like him yet. It's kind of like with Isaac. because like I need a bit more with him. But it's on the right track and I'm, I'm happy about that. So Vivian doing the voice recording was very good. I think we'll see more of what the outcome of that is in the next episode. I uh, just hope being more of a knobhead and putting these signs around people. I don't honestly care about Lily in this alien storyline. Again, it's like her expressing expressing herself through her storytelling. And that worked, I think that story worked really well in season two when she was coming up with the play and stuff. But it's just, it doesn't hit as much with this season. It's just kind of, I feel like it's just one of those, oh, we need Lily to have like a problem this season. And everyone's problems work for the most part in this season. But I just feel like Lily's is like, Oh, no one likes her alien story. And then, like, she's having to go at Ola because Ola said that she doesn't want to do alien roleplay every time they have sex. And that's, like, their their problem. As in a way, it's like, what? Like, I'm with Ola on that. Like, okay, th that was, I thought that was what the point of the last episode was, is, like, they were going to compromise, like, with Vivian and doing the, you know, the roleplay over text or whatever. And then here is, like... Lily's really offended that Ola doesn't want to do role play every single time they have sex. That's all she said. That's all Ola said was that she didn't want to do it. Sometimes she wants to be in the real world when they have sex. That's all she said, and then it's like this big thing now. It's like what? So I know as well. Amy was very very good this episode. Um, I like that. Her and her and Jean were kind of spoke about everything. So there were good. There were actually very good scenes in this episode. I just think. For a season as a whole, I think this was like the the one episode that was very good instead of fantastic. So. Rating, I'm going to give it a 7.7 7 out of 10, uh, or first 7 out of the season, which is good. 
which I think is a very, you know, they've gone a, it would have been nice if it was the whole season having eights, but for me this is just one of those episodes that wasn't on the level of the others, but was still very, very good, don't get me wrong. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Don't know you saw the episode down below in the comments. And of course, if you want the early and uncut reactions to sex education, then link to the Patreon page will be in the description and the pinned comment down below. And make sure to follow me on Twitter as well, as I'll be doing that poll once the finale is uploaded. And I'll see you next time for the penultimate episode already, episode 7. Until then, take care. Peace.